channel. Thank y'all so, so much for being here. I really appreciate it as always. Today's video, y'all, is absolutely monumental for my channel. So I was contacted by a brand that I've been watching come up in the plus size fashion scene for seriously years now, like years. And I got an email last week from the brand Fashion to Figure, you heard it right, Fashion to Figure wanting to collaborate with me on this video. They wanted to see me do a plus size Tron haul featuring their clothes. Oh my gosh, I could not have been more excited. I'm like, I wanted to cry y'all. Whenever I emailed them back, I was like, yes, 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 yes. I'm shouting it from the mountaintops. I'm Tom Cruise right now, yes. <laughs> I was completely and totally floored. Like I could have cried. I could have just died and gone to heaven right then and there and been a happy camper. And that's because I've watched Fashion to Figure sponsor and collaborate with other YouTubers that are significantly bigger and more popular than I am. YouTubers that I respect and admire here, plus size YouTubers. And I mean, like this is a brand that I could have only dreamt of working with, seriously. And just to put it bluntly, y'all, I couldn't have done this. I couldn't be working with them without y'all support. Like it just means the world to me. You have no idea. I'm a small town, Louisiana girl. Being able to work with a brand, like a brick and mortar brand, but also an online brand, I'm amazed and I have only y'all to thank for that. So if you're not familiar with the brand Fashion to Figure, Fashion to Figure is a plus size exclusive brand that caters from sizes between a 12 and a size 24. As I mentioned before, they do have a significant online sales presence, but if you're not interested in shopping online, if you'd rather shop in a brick and mortar store, I do recommend going on their website and looking at their store locator because they do have uh, different stores in different areas and that way you can go in the store, see what you like, try it on and do it that way. If you're not interested in finding a store, if you don't have one near you, shopping online was super, super easy and they have an excellent return policy. So they have a 45 day return policy and they also include the return shipping label. And I just love it when a business includes the dang on return label whenever you buy something online. It just takes all the worry out of it. You don't have to hassle with it. You don't have to go to the post office. You don't have to go to the UPS store. You just slap that sticker on there and you go put it in your mailbox and you are good to go. Now, one thing about Fashion to Figure is they do charge, I think it's like $6.95 for a return label. So they'll take, take that out, out of your original payment. But that is it. And in my opinion, that is super duper reasonable. And before we get started, I just want to give y'all a really quick disclaimer. You know, I got to keep it real on my channel. Everything as far as the clothing goes was sent to me by Fashion to Figure in exchange for this video. However, if you click on a link in the description box below, it is never going to include an affiliate link if the item was sent to me for free. It's just the way I like to do it on my channel. I like to avoid any sort of conflicts of interest. It keeps me open. It keeps me honest. If I like an item, I will let you know. And if I don't like it, I will also let you know. So if you click on it, I will not receive anything on the back end, whether I like it or if I don't like it, I do not receive a dime. So with all that being said, let's get into the good stuff of the video. So the first thing that I picked out from Fashion to Figure is a denim jacket. And upon first glance, it is just a plain old denim jacket. So it's a nice light wash denim. It has really nice seaming kind of contrasting stitches. It has these really nice significant bright silver buttons. However, the good stuff is on the backside. So whenever you turn this jacket around, this is what it looks like. It's got these gorgeous faux suede tassels that go all across the back. It goes all across the back of the arms. And this is just joy and a jacket. It is so much fun. It has got so much movement and I just love the way this pairs with so many different outfits. It just looks so, so good with black jeans, with slacks, with skirts. It just is everything. So I picked this up in a size two and normally I wear a size between an 18 and a 20. So I think a size two um, is equal to a size 20. And this was regularly $95 and I picked it up for $74.96. And I think whenever you shop online, you could also get coupon codes. So I think they have like 25% off or $25 off, something like that, um, whenever you shop online. 
very, very reasonably priced in my opinion for the quality and for the styling of this jacket. It is amazing. So the first thing is that it has these really cute like faux pockets on the side here. So these are not functional pockets. However, these on the front are actually functional pockets. So you can store anything in here. You can put your credit cards or your driver's license in here if you just not really want to carry a purse. So up in the collar, this is what the collar looks like. So you can easily pop it up. It's got a little, uh, a bit of a structure to it, kind of like a really thick denim. And you can pop it up or you can keep it folded down like this. But let me tell you, the fun is in the back side of this. It is just so, so nice. And these tassels are very, very soft. It's very, very well constructed. It's got a seam that goes across the back right here that is very nicely made. I mean, this is just a very well constructed jacket. It is really, really cool. It's got lots of movement. This is a conversation in a jacket. No matter what you wear, you're going to get comments on this jacket. It is so, so fun for concerts. You can wear it out to dinner. You can wear it to clubs. You can wear it out to eat. It just doesn't matter. You can wear this in lots of different places. I wouldn't really suggest wearing it to work. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could, depending on where you work. But this is just a conversation piece and you're definitely gonna get a lot of comments wearing this jacket. And whenever you go down to the materials list, the material is made out of 72% cotton, 24% polyester, 1% lycra spandex, and then 3% other fibers, which I'm thinking the 3% other fibers is the like faux suede in the back. So the second thing that I picked up from Fashion to Figure are a pair of jeans. And whenever I saw them online, I absolutely had to have them. They are so, so cute and so different. So this is what they look like. And they have these really cute zipper details that go across both legs in the front, all the way down to the bottom of the skinny jean. And whenever you go down to the bottom, these are actually functional zippers. So I'm gonna call these my pedicure jeans. You know how you have to, whenever you go get a pedicure, you have to wear shorts. I am not a shorts kind of girl. I like to wear pants anywhere and everywhere, particularly jeans. And these are going to be perfect for getting a pedicure. You just zip them up all the way and, you know, have your feet worked on. You can sit in the tub and you are good to go. You don't have to worry about exposing your legs to anybody. These jeans are priced regularly at $64.95 and were on sale whenever I got them for $48.71, which I think is a very, very reasonable price considering the styling details of these. But with the online coupons, I think you can get them a lot cheaper. And I also got these in a size 20, which fit very, very nicely. I still think that I could probably have sized down to a size 18. They do fit nicely in the legs, butt and hips and waist area but they are a little bit on the big side. That might change once they are washed, they might shrink a little bit. So the jury is not out completely with these, but they are so, so cute. They're very nice and stretchy. I mean, they have a lot of stretch to them and they feel very, very nice on the body. So whenever you turn these jeans around, this is what the back pockets look like. And I actually like the design of these back pockets. They're kind of proportionately sized to the size of the jean, if that makes sense. And they really kind of give the illusion of a smaller, backside to kind of like just pull your butt in just a little bit and give it a little bit of lift, which I really like. And whenever you go down the leg a little bit on the back of the jean, it has this really cute seam that goes in the back of the knee area that I think is really, really interesting. It reminds me kind of a motocross detail and it just accents well with the zipper, if that makes sense. It just looks really, really cool. It's very interesting. It just gives a detail whenever you're walking away that I really do like. And these jeans are super, super cute. So the material is made of 72% cotton, 24% polyester, and 1% spandex. And it also has 3% other fibers. So who knows what those fibers are, but either way, these jeans are super, super cute. They're very, very stretchy, very comfortable. And if you're interested in them, probably size down at least one size. So the next thing I picked up from Fashion to Figure is another pair of jeans, and I am in absolute love with these jeans. So these are considered their ultra high Fashion to Figure jeans, and this is what they look like. So I'm not really sure if you can tell the design aspect of these, but they have really nice details. So first of all, starting at the waist, they have like this little flip over, kind of like a collar detail for these, so you can wear them flipped up, or you can wear them flipped down. I'm probably gonna wear them flipped down. And I got these to wear with the denim jacket that I showed you at the beginning of this video because it pairs so, so well together. 
So whenever you go down the front of the uh, denim. It has these really nice buttons. So it has six six buttons that go up the front here. It's got one right here at the crotch and then the like higher you go up it has a couple of more that are closer together and I like the design element of these that it has black buttons like solid black buttons and not any other color like gunmetal or silver or gold. I just like that kind of like matte black button and I think it makes it look really really nice and trendy and then whenever you turn these around this is what the back looks like. So the uh, back pockets are very, very similar to the other ones. The pockets are very nicely proportioned. And when you go down to the bottom of the leg, it has a really nice skinny detail, which I really do like. I mentioned with the other jeans, I also picked these up in a size 20. And I do think that I could have sized down at least one size. Like I mentioned before, I haven't washed these. So I haven't dried them. I don't know if they're going to shrink or not. But with them being predominantly made out of cotton, I do presume that they are going to shrink somewhat. So like I said before, the jury is still out with that. But overall, these are really, really cute. One thing I will say about these jeans in comparison with the other jeans are that these jeans don't seem to be as quality made as these zipper jeans that I showed you a few minutes ago. So each button on here, like the, the seam that goes around the buttonhole, really isn't as quality made. It has a lot of strings. It's just not as well made as the zipper jeans that I showed you. And that is kind of a disappointment for $41. I do think that these need a little bit of improvement. The style aspect is great. I love the way they look. I love the way they're styled. I love the way they're designed. They're really, really cute but they do have some quality control issues that I do think need to be addressed. You know I gotta keep it real with y'all, but either way, if you do pick these up and you don't like them, if they have a problem, you could always return them and exchange them for another one or pick out something else. But it's just something I wanna let y'all know. Like I said, I'm gonna be honest with y'all in every single thing that I get, and this one is no exception. And then the final thing I wanna let y'all know about these jeans before we move on to the next item is the materials list. So these are made of 63% cotton, 20% polyester, 15% rayon, and 2% lycra spandex. So I just had to change my battery. So if you notice the positioning is a little bit off, that is why. So the next thing I picked up from Fashion and Figure is two shirts. And I liked one so much that I had to get another one in another color. So this is what it looks like. And it's just really, really cute, really pretty pink color. It has this really nice rib detail that is very quite thin. So I think you could wear this in the winter or the springtime. You could even wear this like in the, in the summertime if you really wanted to. And it's this really cool like high-low detail. So it's got this knot that goes in the front. So if you undo this, it is actually very long. But whenever you tie it up, it kind of cuts you right there a little bit past the belly button. And it really helps to cinch in your waist and it makes your waist look super, super tiny. It is so, so cute. And this goes down really, really long as well. I do wish that this was a little bit on the shorter side because whenever I wear it, it almost looks like a loincloth. But I mean, I do get past that. It's really not that big of a deal. And then whenever you turn it around, it has this really nice seaming that goes down the, all the way to the back to a really nice long train. So whenever you're walking um, in a store, you're walking around your house or whatever, if you're going shopping, it kind of has a flow and a movement to it. And I just love that detail. It looks really, really cute. So regularly, this shirt is $39.95 and on their website right now it is on sale for $29.96 so it's about $10 off or so and this shirt is made out of 95% polyester and 5% spandex and I also picked this up in a size 2 which it fits absolutely perfectly. The second one that I picked out is actually in black and this is what it looks like. So it also has the ribbing detail. And this one was the same price as $29.96 on their website. And I just thought that getting it in pink, I could wear it, you know, with for different occasions, wear it with different makeup, wear it with like, you know, springtime occasions and makeup. And then the black, I could really kind of vamp it up, make it look a little bit cooler, wear it with some motocross jeans, wear it with some other type of jeans, slacks, that type of thing, and make it look really, really interesting. So I picked up both colors. I'm not exactly sure if they have any other colors available. I think they were just pink and black, but I had to get them both because they were so, so cute. So the second to last thing that I picked up from Fashion to Figure, I wasn't really sure if I would like whenever I got it in the mail, but whenever I tried these on y'all, I was floored. So this is what they are, and it is also another pair of jeans. But the really cool thing about these jeans as compared to the other jeans is the two-toned aspect of these. So I'm not sure if you can tell 
how really cool these are. They have these really cool like dark panels on the side. So if you have a problem area in the legs, the hip, the butt area, and you want to kind of narrow out your body, these are going to do it phenomenally. So these were regularly priced $54.95 and are on sale on their website for $41.21. And I think these are worth every single penny. These are super, super cute. I picked these up in a size 20, which I think once again, I could have sized down to a size 18. It would have been absolutely perfect. But whenever I tried these on y'all, I was floored by the way they narrowed out my body. So the material is made out of 72% cotton, 24% polyester, 1% lycra spandex, and 3% other fibers. So I'm thinking like all of their jeans pretty much are made of the same materials. And then whenever you turn these around, this is what the back pocket looks like. So the back pocket is really nice. It's very flattering. It has that really nice proportion. So it's really going to make your butt kind of look a little bit higher, a little bit more narrow, particularly with this paneling. It is fantastic. And then whenever you go down to the bottom, these kind of have the like cut off distressing. And it also has the paneling that goes across the bottom part as well. These are super, super flattering. You could wear these dressed up, dressed down with heels, with sneakers, with Converse, it does not even matter. It is so, so nice. I do highly, highly recommend if you have problem areas in your butt and your thighs and your legs, give these a try. These are gonna knock your socks off. They are so, so nice and very, very figure flattering. So the final thing that I picked up from Fashion of Figure is definitely something that I picked up outside of my comfort zone. And it is a lot of garment in one thing. So it is denim, high-waisted, paper bag, overalls. <laughs> so this is what they look like. And I know what you're probably thinking. Oh my God, those are horrendous. They kind of are, <laughs> but they're also sort of cute too. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the paper bag aspect, or I don't even know why it's called a paper bag. Why is it called a paper bag? I don't know. But the waist of these is kind of like that puckered material. So I don't know if you can tell that online it's sort of that like puckered material they're very nice and stretchy and they also are belted so you can kind of like cinch these in a little bit more and really tie in that waist and they also have the overall arm thingy-mabobber shoulder straps which are really really cute so whenever you put these on I can imagine wearing these with a, almost like a little bit of a a crop top sort of like a tight t-shirt something like that and I think these are so so cute as far as the quality of these, they're not that great. So let me just tell you how much they are regularly, if I can find them. So regularly, these are priced $59.95, and these were on sale for $44.96. And they are really, really cute, but the quality is really lacking with these, especially with the material on the inside. So I don't know if you can tell, it has some seams and surging on the inside that just looks really, really messy. And that's just not something I'm about, even though they really look cute on. And I could kind of overlook that when you're wearing them. You don't see that on the outside. It's definitely something on the inside. It's something that I know about and I just don't know if these are gonna last the test of time. Um, but whenever you turn these around, this is what the butt looks like. So they don't have any back pockets on the butt and they are booty licious pants, let me tell you. They are definitely there to accentuate the booty shape. And I kind of like that detail. I actually really, really do like that. So you go down all the way to the bottom and these are considered skinny pants. So they have a really nice narrow ankle. And I mean, that's just something that's kind of a little bit different, a little bit cool. And they do also have functional pockets on the front. So if you need to place something in your pockets, you could definitely do that on the front. If you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable or you just want to warm up your hands, you could do that in your front pocket as well. And I mean, these are definitely different. They're not my favorite thing in the whole world, but I'm definitely going to be wearing these, um, especially out and about in the spring and summer months. I just think they're so, so cute. Quality, as I mentioned before, is a little bit lacking. Um, as far as the like shoulder strap, it is adjustable. It has buttons and it also has this kind of a brassy rose gold adjustable, uh, like what do you call that? Shoulder strap doohickey thingy. And it has the, um, the buttons that go right here to adjust it as well. So overall, these are definitely a hit, 
but as I mentioned before, quality is lacking. For $44.96, I guess it's not too, too bad. I picked these up in a size 20 and they're definitely a little bit on the big side. As I mentioned before, with all of the denim, I think I could have sized down at least one size, but with them being made of cotton, 72% cotton at that, um, they're definitely gonna shrink in the wash, so I'm not really too, too worried. So the material is 72% cotton, 24% polyester, 1% lycra spandex, and 3% other fibers once again. So it seems kind of across the board, most of the things are made of, especially the denim aspect, are going to be made of mostly the same material. So this is the last item. It's definitely a little kooky, a little quirky and it's right up my alley. All right, y'all, that is gonna do it for this fashion to figure plus size try on clothing haul. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I wanna say a big, big thank you to fashion to figure for sending me these clothes and giving me a shot. I really, really appreciate it. And as far as my viewers go, thank you so much for the opportunity and letting me have this opportunity by watching me, subscribing to me, commenting, liking, all the above. I really, really appreciate it because without you, I could have done none of this. So once again, thank you so, so much to my subscribers and to Fashion to Figure. Y'all are awesome. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. You know your girl would appreciate it. And as always, I hope y'all are having a fantastic day. No matter where you are in the world, please stay safe and stay healthy. And I'll be seeing y'all very, very soon. Bye.